Well, 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 here we are, we meet again. Today, I have a very random assortment of goods and wares, and I'm just gonna tell you about them because they're things that I enjoy, and they're not necessarily makeup related, and by not necessarily, I mean they're not at all, except for one thing, which is. But other than that, no. So, I have nothing more to say for myself. <laughs> Let's just jump right into it. These are some things I've been enjoying. The first thing is a brush cleaner. This is slightly makeup related, but this is the uh, Sigma Scrub. And the reason I like this is because it's like, there's dog hair in it. There's soap that's like embedded into this little thing. And if you look at it up close, you can see there's like little, soft silicone bristle things that just poke right out of there. And it's great, it works so well. Like it's, it's my favorite for like really dense foundation brushes, like the e.l.f. 105 brush that I've been using a ton. Like I use that for my foundation, I use it for my bronzer and stuff like that, like my cream bronzer. And I love this because it doesn't, it's not harsh on your brushes because like that silicone little fingers they're very soft, they're very gentle, so it's not like this like harsh, intense thing on your brush. It's just still really gentle, but it gets that product out a lot easier than trying to just kind of go in with a normal soap. So I really like this, and um, I've burned through one whole thing of these, and I just got another one, so it's my fave. I really have been liking that a lot, and I realized that I hadn't really mentioned it, so there you go. Next, this is so boring. I don't know what to tell you, okay? I live and swear by this. This is my agenda. Listen, listen, hear me out. It's gonna change your life, I swear to you, okay? I have this agenda. I write in it every single day. It has helped me the most with my mental health, with not feeling stressed and overwhelmed about the things that I have to do because I was once like you. I was a procrastinator. I would leave things to the last minute. And I felt like that was just the way that I liked to work. No, no, I was wrong. I was wrong all along. So now the thing that I like about this is that um, in the beginning, you have kind of like this little thing that's broken down where it says like goals, birthdays, anniversaries, and then to do's. And then it gives you the kind of like month at a glance, so you can sort of like write in little things there that you need to write in. And then it has like your day-to-day -day stuff. So this stuff, this was like the wedding week, so there's nothing on there. <laughs> but the other stuff has sensitive information. So um, what I do with this agenda is like, I write down every single day, hour by hour. So I will write down like appointments, things I need to get done, like everything. So it'll be like seven o'clock, gym, eight o'clock, breakfast, 8.30, film, nine, edit, whatever, like, and I write all of these things on and I check them off as I go. It's so helpful. I mentioned it in my um, mental health tips uh, video, but you guys would not believe like sticking to an agenda and having that physically written down because I know a lot of people just keep it in their phone, but it's so much easier to just see it like laid out properly here. When we were doing the wedding stuff, I was trying to keep some stuff in my phone because I was just like really stressed and overwhelmed. So I wasn't writing it down in my agenda the way I should have been. And on the week before my wedding, I booked a dress fitting on Tuesday the 30th, our wedding was on the, sa the Saturday the 3rd. Um, so I booked a dress fitting at 11 o'clock. I booked my driver's test for my driver's license, my full driver's license at 11 o'clock. And I also booked um, a hair appointment at 11 o'clock. And they were all right beside each other in my phone under like my reminders, but it's just not the same as like writing it down. So anytime, like as soon as I have an appointment, as soon as I have something I need to do, it goes into my agenda. I know it's there. It's so convenient. I got this one from Indigo and I really, really have loved it. I've used this over the past like quite a bit because this started in 2018. I'm gonna be using this one through to 2020 and then I'm gonna be picking up a new one. It's a game changer guys. Just trust me, okay? We're gonna have a fun time being adults with agendas. I also wanted to talk about this I know that all of this stuff is so stupid, but trust me, it's not stupid at all. I got this from Target. I like to have a notebook with me because I like to like write down any notes I have, like 
be it like video ideas, podcast ideas, things I have to do, notes on whatever stuff, like emails I want to send through, whatever. Everything that I have that needs to be like taken down for notes, I put in this. Alyssa Anderson, how dare you? So sorry, I didn't realize you were filming. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> so I keep all my notes down in here. And um, the reason I love this so much, I know it looks like just any other journal, Listen, this lays like perfectly flat when you're writing on it. And I love that, but it doesn't have those fucking stupid rings down the center. So it's not like when you're writing on this page, it's annoying to write or depending on your left or right handed, it's not annoying to write because it has this huge fucking ring down the center. This thing was like five bucks or something and it's awesome. Like I just love that back of it because it allows it to just kind of be fully open and flat. It's the bomb. It's like the best journal I've ever bought. You know what, don't even go get it because I want the entire stock at Target. And that's that. I can't live without this journal. I honestly, <laughs> if this gets discontinued, I don't know what I'll do. I will have to slander Target and I don't wanna do that. That's not in my nature. It is in my nature, but not against Target. You know what I mean? Like Target's a beautiful, beautiful place and I don't want to have to do that, but I will. Don't even go buy it because I'm going to go buy it. If you do buy it, just send it to me. I need all of these journals in my life. I can't ever write in another journal. I don't know what you don't understand. Moving on. I did a big like order off Revolve because I needed Safari clothes. So <laughs> I ordered a bunch of shit off Revolve all at once and um, they sold they sell makeup, which I didn't realize. So anyways, they had some kind of like interesting brands on there. And one of them was Lila B. I've tried some stuff from Lila B in the past, but I've never seen these. I hadn't seen them on Sephora for some reason. I'm not sure if they even have them on Sephora. Anyways, these are, what even are they? Lovingly Lip Tinted Lip Oil. They're great. I love them. They're awesome. I got two colors. So I got Be Romantic. Let me show you right now. I'm wearing it on my lips, but I'm wearing it over top of a lipstick. But these are like the sheer tinted lip oil of my dream. And then this one is Be Elegant. So Be Romantic and Be Elegant. I usually mix these two and that's kind of what I've been wearing like day to day because it's just super nice and sheer. It's hydrating. Um, it wears off really well. It's not the most long wearing thing in the world, but I'm fine with that. It doesn't dry out my lips like some lip oils have in the past for me. The only thing I really don't like about these is this applicator, man. It's Really big, which I like, but this applicator is like not soft at all. It's very, it's just weird. Like I've never used anything like this in my life. It's just very hard and it doesn't pick up a lot of product, which normally would be fine. But like I like, for instance, the Fenty Gloss has a pretty big, like it has like an oversized doe foot applicator. It's not as big as those Lila B ones, but this is perfect to me. It picks up a lot of product not a lot, but like what you need to actually put on your lips kind of thing. Whereas with this, like I have to keep dipping back in and dipping back in and dipping back in. I'm just like a one and done type of bitch, okay? I just like to dip in, dip out, see you later. And I can't do that with that applicator, but the formula, magnifique. Eight out of 10, 8.5, nine. Nine out of 10, applicator, a three. I have no bad notes about my notebook though. So there you go. Ooh luxury to end all luxuries if you've ever been inside a fancy restaurant you've probably washed your hands with aesop soap i don't think i'm pronouncing that correctly it is what it is i live in canada okay that's my excuse aesop is such a majestic beautiful mm, so good like just all of their products i want them all but the problem is that i'm not rich enough Everyone would know I'm a phony. I don't think they would even sell it to me because they'd be like, I'm sorry, ma'am. You have to have like this much class or higher to purchase and I, I don't. But anyways, I love Aesop soap. I had this one type of soap from them for a long time, years and years I've been using it. And then I was traveling with my brother in January. Was that in January? February. I was traveling with my brother and um, we were in this little restaurant in Paris. And I went into the bathroom and I was like, damn, Aesop soap. Psh, psh. And then I started washing my hands with it and I was like, what is this? It, oh, I can't even describe to you. I was like, this is, it gave me goosebumps. It gives me goosebumps talking about it now. <laughs>
I hate scrubby shit, okay? I hate like like body scrubs and shit like that. Like I just don't like my body being scrubbed. I want it to be gently, tenderly cleansed. I don't need the sugar and the what's going on and the who's it. This soap has like the finest, tiniest little baby grains of, of decadence in it. I cannot even describe to you. It's the best hand soap I've ever tried in my life. This is so weird. It's ridiculously overpriced, but it's the Aesop Reverence Aromatic Hand Wash. I love the smell of it. It's very earthy. It's not super strong. It's not a smell that like lingers or anything like that, which I prefer with a hand soap because I don't, I don't feel like my hands are clean if they're really, really fragrant. But this is just, it's, it's, just lovely, like washing my hands is an absolute delight. <laughs> it's a great hand soap, I needed to mention it because every single time I go to the bathroom, I'm just like, ugh, on my way to billionaire. Like it just is so, just, it's a really sensual experience for me, okay? Anyways, I love that soap. As soon as I saw it in Paris, I was like, what is this shit? I took a picture, I went to Aesop, they were like, sorry, ma'am, you're not classy enough. And I was like, just give it to me. And they were like, okay, we'll give you a break. And I was like, okay, see you later. I'm never gonna buy any other hand soap. Mark my words. If you ever discontinue this Aesop, there'll be hell to pay. Moving on. <laughs> when I was ordering from Revolve, I got a bunch of Safari shit, but I also bought these jeans. I've been looking at these jeans forever, okay? I've gone onto so many different websites and I've seen them and they are always marked as a bestseller. And I always look at them and I'm like, one day I'd be cool enough to wear those. I just bit the bullet, I just went for it. And I put them on and I was like, is this cool, is this not cool? Matt told me I look like a farmer, we got a divorce. He came back around. He was like, actually, they're cool. I was like, I'm well aware. I went over to my mom's house. She was like, those are cool. And I was like, thank you, mom. Now I can wear these every day, and I have. <laughs> these are, hold on, let me look up the exact name of them. They're from a gold day. They're the 90s loose fit in Fallout. I fucking love these jeans, bro. I'm gonna insert a picture so you guys can see what they look like because I'm not gonna put them on right now, but let me just hold them up and show you. I'm also not wearing pants, I'm so sorry. But they're the sickest, they're just really loose. And I tie it, I roll them up like this. Oh my God, I should be a fashion blogger. This haul video is truly unreal. Anyways, I'll insert pictures, but the fit of them is just like perfect. They fit really nice and like snug around the top, like my hip waist area. Um, and then they have this really nice loose fit. They're not ridiculously loose on my butt and I don't have a butt at all. Cannot stress enough, not even a little bit. Not even a little, like, a little pushing for the cushion, like, cushion for the pushing. I don't even, I can't even say that phrase. I can't even be a part of that club because there's nothing there to enjoy. But it still looks okay. It doesn't really look like I'm wearing a little curtain or anything like that. I don't know, I haven't walked behind myself that much, but I did look in a mirror once or twice. I love these jeans. I'm never taking them off. They're so comfortable. They fit exactly like you would want a loose fit to fit. Do you know what I mean? Like a lot of the times I feel like we look at jeans like that and we're like, ooh yeah, I'm gonna get some like loose fitting jeans and then you try them on and you're like, mom, immediately. These are just dope, man. I wore them in a sunflower field and someone was like, are you an influencer? And I was like, I fucking am, I fucking am. And you could tell by these jeans, thank you so much. Moving on. <laughs> I love this product. Alyssa is gonna cringe when she watches this because this like ruined her life. <sighs> this is like one of my favorite skincare products. I've been using it for months and months now, but this is the Ula Henriksen Transform Plus Good Night Glow Retin Alt Sleeping Cream. I fucking love this shit, man. I feel like this is not too harsh on my skin. I can use this every night like no problem and it's totally fine. It's really, really great for like lightening up my acne scar and any kind of texture and stuff like that. It really is so fantastic. I just, I love it. I love it so much. It's really great for like resurfacing and stuff. Like I just, it's so beautiful. It doesn't dry my skin out. My skin doesn't react to it at all. However, Alyssa had a very rough time. <laughs> with this cream, like she reacted 
so badly to it and it, it took like a full week for it to heal kind of thing. So buyer beware, use a little bit of a, do a test patch for sure if you have sensitivities or even if you don't. With any kind of thing that's like more of a resurfacing product, it's always a good idea to do a kind of little test patch. I have no sensitivity to this at all. It's never bothered my skin. I've never had any problem. I love it. It makes my skin really nice and glowy, super smooth. I always love putting on makeup the next day because my skin feels and looks like so much better. <laughs> and it's one of my favorite products. But anyways, if you have sensitivities, just watch your back. Next, I have a perfume wreck for you. Listen, if you bought the vanilla perfume that I always recommend, this is very, very different, okay? It's still sexy. I still love it. My upper lip is sweating just talking about it. This is the Gucci Flora Gorgeous Gardenia. I fucking love this, man. It's so good. I bought this, I think actually last summer and I didn't wear it a ton, but I've been kind of like picking it up more and more this summer. It wears on me unlike any other perfume. Like a lot of perfumes I put on and then I can't smell it basically at all as soon as I walk out of the house. The vanilla one I find like lasts pretty well on me, but it's nothing like this. Like this, I put it on and I smell it all day long. Not even in a way that's like irritating where I'm like, oh my God, like I fucking wish this would wear off, but I'm just like, I just catch a little whiff of myself and I'm like, oh, a rich person, oh wait. <laughs> It's me and my hands, so soft, billionaire soap. Fantastic, it's just a really good combo. The thing that I really like about this as well, listen, it's hot out. I become moist in the harsh summer climates that we're experiencing in Canada. I'm a sweaty woman sometimes, you know? And I am like just eternally amazed <laughs> how good this smells even when I'm like so sweaty and gross. Like, I don't know why, I don't know why I would think that that would like change the smell of it or make it smell not as good or just like, I don't know, but like, I just keep smelling fucking good, man. I'm just a little bit dewier. That's the only thing, but it wears really well. It's really beautiful. It's super fruity and floral and it's just, I love it. I love it so much. It's become one of my favorite perfumes as well. I've been using it a shit ton during the summer. I don't think I would wear this one as much in the winter just because it doesn't have winter vibes, you know? Like it's not something I wanna like sit around a fire roasting chestnuts about. So it's a summertime thing. Hot girl summer, Gucci Flora. You heard it here first. And that's it. That is all of my recent favorite things from around my home that I've collected to show to you. This is kind of like show and tell in kindergarten, only it's my job. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for hanging out. Let me know what things you guys have been loving. Do you have a fancy majestic hand soap that I should try that I'm not going to try because I already found my true love? You can let me know anyways in the comments. I don't know, maybe I'll run across it in a French restaurant here and there. We'll see. Thank you guys. I will see you next time. Peace out.